Hi there, welcome to my video. A couple of days ago I came across this issue where the Windows Module Installer Worker Service was taking up uh, most of the CPU on my system. Um, I managed to fix it and I want to show you in this video. Um, if you find this video useful, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so as you can see here, I took a screenshot of the issue. Uh, the process is taking up a, a lot of the CPU. Uh, this process is related to the Windows update. So on my machine that I looked at, uh, the user said that they've had that at um, very running very high or their computer running slow. I think it was for about four hours. And what it was is the Windows update was configured to automatically uh, download and install updates. So if we just go into the settings here, click on update and security. And if we click on advanced options here, uh, my version of Windows is not actually activated, so I can't select any options. But here it was um, automatically download and install updates. And what it looked like it had done is it downloaded an update and then got, got confused. So what I did was I rebooted the machine. Uh, that then stopped the Windows update being applied. Came in here and manually checked for updates and then downloaded and installed them and rebooted and everything was good after that. But what you might want to do is, if you do this process, it should sort out the issue. Afterwards, go into advanced options. And then what I prefer to do on my system is if you select never check for updates. And if you just come in here once a month and just manually run the updates, uh, that, that will be good. I don't like to have this setting on automatically download and install updates because you might be working on your machine in the middle of the, middle of the day and it will typically just download it and as you see there the CPU will go high. It uses up a lot of um, disk IO as well so it will make the disk go slow and your machine will just ground to a halt. Um, so as I said just put it to never check and then just run it manually uh, once a month. Okay, thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions, please post them below. Uh, but thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.